Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Wobble here. Welcome to another episode of FTD Facts. And today I got a pretty special, awesome video for you guys out there in the real world. Because a couple of weeks ago, we did videos on Attack on Titan. We did ones on, you know, Tokyo Ghoul. And we got a lot of fans who are down for the Japanese anime. And as you guys know, here on FTD Facts, we like to take a lot of suggestions. And lately, we've been getting suggestions for a show called Black Butler. Because of our fans like Victoria Griffith, Leah here, and of course, let's not forget Wolf Girl Pop, and many others, you guys have been suggesting us to do Black Butler. But as you all know, guys, this is FTD Facts, the channel where we teach you everything on everything. And today, we're going to talk about Black Butler. And if you don't know the show, that's okay, because we're going to teach you some new stuff too. Without good old-fashioned spoilers. Yay! Well, we'll try not to put any in them. Now, before I get in this video, I also got to know what is your favorite Japanese anime? Now, for those who don't know what Black Butler is, now it's a series about a 13-year-old young boy named Sayil Phantom Hive, and he ends up selling his soul to a demon called Sebastian Michaelis. Let's save the games for later. Yes. And this is all because he wants to track down and get personal justice on the people who murdered his family. So why not just relax a bit and make yourself at home. And it's also cool because it's also set in Victorian times. Yeah! Now like many Japanese animes, this all started off as a popular manga done by Yana Taboso in 2006. Now it was first released in a monthly magazine called GF Fantasy, and it was for its October edition. However, its first full volume wasn't released until February 27th of 2007. And in order for it to get an English release, it was acquired by the Yen Press, and the first English volume wasn't released until about 2010. Now the demon that Sayil hangs out, his name is Sebastian Michaelis. He's a really cool, elegant sort of character. Your battle moves are as well aligned as your faces. Kind of reminds me of V from V for Vendetta. The only thing that you and I have in common, Mr. Creedy, is we're both about to die. How do you imagine that's going to happen? With my hands around your neck. Now, although Sebastian poses as a butler, he got his name from Sebastian Michaelis, who was a French inquisitor from the 16th century. Now, this guy was a guy that was into, like, spirits and witchcraft. In 1581 and 1582, he took part in witchcraft trials, which led to 14 women being burned and convicted. However, in 1587, he wrote a book called Numologie Discours de Esprit, which is a book all about demon classification. And it's awesome because, well, that's what Sebastian is, a demon. Now, in an episode called His Butler Capricus, it focuses around a character called Jack the Ripper. Now, Jack. we all know Jack the Ripper actually existed, but however, when it came to creating this episode, they took such care into knowing everything about Jack the Ripper. A frightening name. This is because the people that were killed in the episode were real people that Jack the Ripper killed. And that's not the only time they've paralleled history. Now, Sayil, he's a bit of a lying character because he's always said, yeah, you know what, I don't laugh, I don't smile, I don't do any of that stuff, I'm a tough boy. But that's really not true because, I mean, like, look at this right here. He's been seen smiling in the series. And this isn't the only time also, because he's done that a few times. Now, one of my favorite characters is Hannah. I mean, for me, she's just such a bad ass when she gets in a fight with some... <laughs> Sebastian. Come on, is that really a spoiler? Now, besides being a demon, people also reference her as a flower demon. Now, for a long time, this was hypothetical, and this is all because if you spell the word Hannah without an H, it actually means flower in Japanese. But the thing is, fans first started inquiring about it, and the creators were like, yes, uh, guess what? It's true, she is a demonic flower. Also on a side note, Hannah is the third demon to appear in Kuro Shichuchi. She's also the first one to be female, and she's also the first demon to have a contract seal that's not just on her hand, but also in her eye. Now going back to Sebastian, he's a guy of elegance, he looks good. And I gotta say, he's got a pretty awesome hairdo, am I right? By the way guys, if you guys are a huge Sebastian fan, hit that like button down below. Cool? Now you might be shocked to know when they first were creating this series, his hair wasn't going to be parted in the middle. Yana was originally going to have his hair off to the side on a 7 to 3 ratio. However, the editorial staff just really hated it, so she was like, 
Well, I'll part it in the middle then. Now besides The Undertaker being a really cool character, in the first season he was a re-owned Grim Reaper. He judged famous souls like William Shakespeare, Marion Antoinette, and let's not forget good old fashioned Robin Hood. Now during the sixth arc of the Kiro Shitsuchi series, called the Luxury Liner Arc, he is seen wearing a Charlie Chaplin outfit. Now in that series, they're on a ship called the Campania, which sets sail on April 17th of 1889. However, Charlie Chaplin was born on April 16th, 1889. Although there is a real ship called the RMS Campania, which was the largest and fastest ship of its time, when it launched on April 22nd, 1893. But the series is more a parallel to the Titanic because, well, first of all, the two ships sink from hitting an iceberg. They are also both reciprocating steam engines, and the Campania was made by the Blue Star Line, and the Titanic was actually made by the White Star Line. Now, Grell Sutcliffe, he or she, I can't really figure out what Grell is. I will just say this is a very interesting character to begin with, and really quite humorous. Grell is actually known to be named after Peter Sutcliffe, who is a serial killer from the UK known as the Yorkshire Ripper. And Peter Sutcliffe was responsible for the murder of 13 women. Oh yeah, and also Grell originally wasn't going to have heels in the original manga. <laughs> Leap through these flames, gather me in your arms, and hold me tight, dearest one. Excuse me. Now, speaking about the original manga, let's talk about the original author, and that's Yana Toboshu. Now, here's the thing. With Yana, there are no known photos of this artist. As a matter of fact, it's speculated that there is not even one person named Yana Toboshu, and that Yana Toboshu is actually a pen name. Now, the only description or... I guess we could call it photo of Yana Toboshu is this avatar right here, which is of a devil with a black body and black horns. But fans know that she's in her 30s and she lives in Yokohama. And last but not least, guys, there's been a lot of rumors of whether or not this series is going to get a fourth season, or whether or not a new spin-off series will come. It's been greatly speculated for years. However, guys, it has been confirmed that there is a fourth season coming. However, it's not going to be released until about 2017. Because let's be honest, with Black Butler or Kiro Shichi selling over 20 million copies and making over $4 million for its film, why not do a season four? Am I right? If you guys are excited for season four, let me know down there in the comments below. But guys, that is it for us here on FTD Facts. Guys, this is the channel where we teach you everything on everything. And sometimes we talk about space, sometimes we talk about the cosmos, sometimes we talk about people, television shows, and sometimes we just do fun facts about just random things. So let us know down there in the comments below what you guys want us to do, and we'll get right on it. But other than that, guys, my name is Dave Wapple, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to follow me on on Instagram or even on my personal YouTube channel. It's down there in the description box below. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye. Whoa.